Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, well, me and happening on that, trying to talk that history. So, yeah. really, like, you could just really, like, you know, so you could really talk, you know what I mean, whatever, you know what I mean? I ain't really know, no script. It's like, you could just be like, man, let us know, like, where we at, and, like, what will make this, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. like, like, monumental, and we'll make this shit what it is, you know? On the real. Uh, no, this, this right here, we on the side of the projects. This is like, when we, when we came up, we used to call this the other side, yeah. or the 99th side. Okay. And dudes that grew up on this side, they used to call that side of the project. The other side, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And this side was really known as with the Tiny Low. We had clicks and all that, like, yeah, like ESK, Tiny Low, Spoonie G's, okay. Baby Low, yeah. which is still on the upper end of Grave Street. So this will, will be the Tiny Low side, okay. like the Tiny Low Crips. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Inside the Jordan Down Project. For years, years, many, new years as the date, this is known as the OS. Real shit. And they got some shit called OS, OSB. OSB, yeah, I know about a year. So when the homie say, well, come on OS, you know, you already right right know where to come to. Yeah, you come right here. Right, you know what I'm saying? You already know where to come to. Even right here, like a few blocks down right here on that side, if you remember the movie Colors, when T. Rogers, they jammed him up, yeah. and you got the dudes in the dice game across yeah. the street. Yeah. There was this side of the projects right here. That's another thing, too, though. Yeah. Y'all projects is, is well known for being in movies, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, how do motherfuckers go about even. Being, being able to have something like that, do they tap in with the homies and let them know, like, hey, we finna film something, you know what I'm saying, over here, and motherfuckers make, do they be giving jobs when that type of shit happen and shit like that around here, you know what I mean? That connection comes, like, you rubbing, this Ben, I was just rubbing elbows with yeah. people that want to get into film, yeah. I want to dig in documentaries and shit, yeah. I want to do something in this area, and they just connect yeah. like that. Make all organic and natural. In society, the right brother, they was just, to my, to my knowledge, yeah. they were just in an area looking for where they just set up. Oh. And at that time, which was 90, it came out in 93, yeah, yeah, yeah. 92 is when they did filmed it. Filmed it. Yeah. And I was right there. And at that time, you know, the structure was a little different in yeah. a lot of games. That tough. structure was structure serious. Was serious. So yeah, the homies yeah. pressed up on them and made them hired. And I, I know the number and all that. Niggas yeah. getting $75 out. Yeah, they got the whole, whole yeah. shit bang. Like the big homies, they was on them. Like, okay, boom. Put some homies in the movie and all type of shit. Nah, nah, nah. But that's dope, though. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, because it's like, look, you coming to the community, you're doing videos, yeah. doing movies, you know what I'm saying? Like, we gonna be out here, we gonna be making sure things protected, we gonna be a part of it. And, and niggas is, got the same aspirations. This niggas that come up in, this, in these trenches, like we just talking with a little one who wanna act, who wanna do that same type of shit. So sometimes them, them rubbing shoulders and they turn into that end up creating superstars, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Just wanna talk from the soul one time. Sometimes you gotta tell them how you really feel. Yeah. Y'all here got a lot of superstars that then transcended, you know what I'm saying? From different, you know what I mean? Like that from Lil One Day, right? Yeah. Shout out to Uncle Nardo, Uncle Seth. Shout out to That's my uncle. That's yeah. my mama's brother, right? right? So it's a lot of rappers. He had gravitating towards his area, like the reputation that he had. Yeah, sure. And he brought him right here. Yeah, sure. So our history is, is deep rooted. Me yeah. and Lil was like, so we got that real history, like, you know what I'm saying? We was raised under some real leaders, like, right. our house was a spot, it was honeycomb, it was yeah, headquarters. Yeah, 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 nigga seen like, he, a lot. Like, he came with the same yeah, 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 so it's not as that's why he, how he, the way he is. Mm -hmm. You know, through his father, like, you know what I'm saying? Real talk. I, yeah, I know, I know a lot about his father as well, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and spearheading and being a part of them mm -hmm. peace treaties and all of that, man, trying to get shit right as well in the community, you know what I'm saying? How important is that? Because I've been seeing you, like, throughout the years, you somebody that's vocal, though. I don't like seeing shit try to get better, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, how important is that for a nigga like yourself that been here from the beginning, you know what I'm saying? To see how the shit changes, you know what I'm saying? The gentrification, and, you know what I mean? The different things that they trying to do to help build the community, you know what I'm you saying? Know, I watched, you? man, I was around, like, I was just spoke on structure. I was around this motherfucker. It was structure, tight. Yeah. When you can identify with Baby Low King and Grape Street, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right now, you can't really identify that yeah. in this day, so. Yeah. I seen our shit kind of like start coming and shit. I hear you know what saying? And we had a lot of, we had a lot of Indians. Yeah. We ain't had that many chiefs. So I got from off that side of the fence with that, I said I'm gonna lead a different way. Let me, let me, let me fix this shit. Real talk. I can get from right there. Y'all got it's, you got a lot of truth. Real talk. I don't need to do that. So once I acknowledge that, I'm like fuck, let me start doing shit different. Like I start like putting down like little gang of picnics, gang of football games, basketball games, basketball games. Together, 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 together,
the uh, us and Nutty in the basketball game. Yeah, they yeah, 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 like, yeah. You know I remember that. Yeah, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was just, we just, now just, now I'm just starting for like, real. doing different shit. Like, let me put this shit together. Uh, mm-hmm. And this got bigger and bigger, so and so, you know what I'm saying? It was a time when I got shot, and you know what I'm saying? And, 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 it, and, it was the you feel me like I seen it like damn so I couldn't even be mad like yeah this is how it happened I had to yeah, respect the game so I understand what you're saying but like shit goes around really comes man. around you know in what I'm saying the same way you speaking on karma everybody when they hear karma they just think it's a bad, bad thing, thing. You yeah. got come on you too, got good karma too like what you just did yeah. with grandma come on what you just did with grandma making sure she got an autograph that, that, that's little that's shit like that just yeah. helped you because it was genuine because it was genuine just in the jungle man yeah come on just in the jungle but all of us a lot of us got good hearts every nigga ain't out here no killer nah, tough yeah, ass nigga nah, wanna nah, beat nah. every nigga up and fight all nah. day all that type of shit mm-hmm. but that's your certain shit they got to do yeah it's a jacket like, you gotta wear but they don't but what yeah. they don't see is like the camaraderie like you know what i'm saying like, especially i know it's a lot different for y'all like growing up in these projects you know what i'm saying like motherfuckers don't understand the camaraderie of a brotherhood of waking up hanging with my friends all day fuck before niggas bang when he's just my friends we spending the night at each other house yeah, pouring water on a nigga yeah, when he 100%. sleep first we doing all this slap boxing and fight so a nigga growing up and then one of my friends get taken away from me that shit be right here forever nigga might have lost yeah. a nigga like i lost my nigga knock i'm i'm 15 when i lose it i'm 36 now and i still feel it I still got that in me, like when I when I see his name or hear him, you know what I'm saying? And I know you got niggas like that, and you got niggas like that. And you still years feel ago. that. Still feeling that. You dig what I'm saying? Like that two years ago, he been going for twenty something years. Come on, man. Like that's what made me just jump out the window when a nigga lost him at thirteen. This shit a nigga did. You feel me? But like, and that's when it was like fuck type yeah. of shit. Thirteen yeah. years old, like yeah. you feel me? You know what? I found. Yeah, right. and niggas used to be on both sides, nigga hanging yeah. over there like nigga. It's niggas over here that I done, that I don't that done lost their lives that that hurt yeah. me. His nigga mafia, right? We lost them, nigga. Blackouts and them. Yeah. Them was like my brothers too that yeah. I grew up with and, and seeing yeah. them. That shit hurted me. That shit still hurt. You know what I'm saying? I got conversations that play back in my head when I think. That's why that one song was was so cold, man. Shout out to Greedo when he did the mafia business, cause knowing where you hearing them words and remember them, no matter where you was from, mm-hmm. if you knew him. So we done all went through these traumas and these things. And like I think you said something dope. Earlier though, it's like, how do we try to change it and fix that? How do we deal with it? How do we deal with that? You know what I'm saying? And I think we trying to find a way, like through these conversations. I got some of my older homies in here. Y'all got y'all older homies around this motherfucker. So we all trying to find a way. Niggas done tried baseball games. Niggas done tried football games. Niggas done tried meetings and shit. But like a nigga say, we just, it just, we throwing shit up the wall to some stick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I ain't gonna lie, that's a good point to be able to speak on, you know what I'm saying? People you lost. I wanted to talk to Lil. Yeah. TD. What's up, baby? What's up, Good. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? Good. What's up? Number nine. Yeah. I want to go back to what y'all was just yeah. saying, Lil. Um, pretty much speaking on just losing people yeah. i think i had to shift my whole perspective on when 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 people die physically that that is actually helped me cope with it yeah. it's really helped me cope with it from yeah. from the homies we don't lost back home to you know what i'm saying family members to my son rest in peace my son like a mm-hmm. lot of different instances to where i've been in that same predicament fool mm-hmm. so I feel like the most important part, like it's one thing I learned in science, and this mm-hmm. shit, this shit might come off, it might sound weird, but 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 it's real. Yeah. One thing I learned in science is that energy can never die. First and foremost, yeah. we yeah. never die, gang. Yeah. yeah. We we never die. Yeah. We transition, we move on to a different life, but we never die. That's something that we always got to know right then and there. He ain't here physically, but he here somewhere. Yeah, you feel me? And once you know that. Death starts to seem a little easy. You gotta look for the signs. I know you done had a homie pass and then you done seen some shit that reminds you of him. You be like, man, yeah. this nigga trying to talk to me. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You feel me? For sure. So so why put that power over us to to to, to feel like just cause he ain't here physically, that that's something we gotta dwell. Cause he watching over us and he wants us to be better than the space that we in. Yeah. And then also outside of that as well. How are we being strong for them? Yeah. How are we taking their death as inspiration? Mm-hmm. We gotta look at everything like inspiration, cause at the end of the day, we artists, bro. That part we too. artists. Yeah. Rather, rather you make a song about, bro. Rather you, you feel me? Rather whatever you do, everything gotta be looked at as inspiration. What's up? 
Yeah. Start back walking everything. Yeah. Let's do it. I'll start walking. Everything yeah. gotta be looked at as inspiration. Same way you got them tatted on you, that's art. That's yeah. inspiration. Yeah. So how does we turn in our pain and our traumas into something to where it can be presentable to so many other people that go through this shit? Yeah. Yeah. That's how you eat, that's how you heal one. That's how that's how shit come together. That's how you make something, all right, boom. Lonely my dog, Deontay. Mm -hmm. When I was just yeah. sitting at that funeral. He one of them niggas, boy. One of them niggas. I was just sitting at the funeral. I sat front row with his mama. Mm -hmm. His mama had to cry on my shoulder. I had yeah. to wipe tears off, off my shoulder oh, with I this shit. You. So it's like we all going through the we same shit. Don't shit. ever feel like motherfuckers, somebody problem bigger than this or somebody yeah. problem different. We all go through the same emotions. Now yeah. it's about how do we bring it together to help I'm, I'm ones you, that I'm go through I'm that shit. The way, more real ones getting them opportunities. Niggas like him with a voice that's in these trenches, when a motherfucker get them opportunities and can better they self and can do something and bring it back. Cause like a nigga say, them kids, they looking up to a nigga. Now they could look up to a nigga thugged out out this motherfucker, nigga knocking everything down and moving how a nigga moving. Or they could look up to a nigga and be like, man, I'm trying to be on the movies like bro. I'm gonna exactly. do everything like and, Neil one. I'm trying to be in the music and, videos and like Neil one. Stop. Let's pause right saying? here. Remember when you just looked me dead in my motherfucking eye and I just felt your passion right there? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Remember in the same sense how earlier today I was just telling you, hey, bro, we need to sit with him. You need to talk to him about your life so he could develop a script. Yeah, sure. That's how we do that. Yeah, sure. And you want to know what's the most beautiful part going to be about your movie? You want to know the most beautiful part about your movie? How you stumbled across a nigga like me. Because on my mama, I'm going to make sure that when you just told me that, I'm going to make sure you something happened. Tell nigga that. You feel me? Because I feel that. you, cuz. And I'm in position to help. And I'm going to always help. help. Yeah, and that should be real I genuine. Like, like I don't, and like to be really honest with you, like like what I was just saying, like back at yeah. thirteen, like I, I, I don't give a fuck about this shit, chopper. Like, yeah, I don't give a fuck yeah. about this shit. Mm -hmm. Like I done did some shit, like oh, on shit. jail, but I pray, I repent, I want to do better. On and jail, he sees it. Why you think you're still alive? You wake up yeah. every day, gang. You know how many yeah. times, yeah. cuz yeah. you know how many yeah. times you done been on that in yeah. that yeah. instance yeah. of nigga, how am I still here? Yeah. What you think he got you here for? And that nigga really been looking for a way out. Yeah. Like for real, for I'm going to end it on this, though, because we in here. So, you know what I mean? My nigga working. Nigga, y'all yeah, done took the time. Let a nigga pull up. Niggas doing this. I'm going to end it on this. I want to ask both of y'all this. You know what I'm saying? For, for, the, for the people that's watching this, you know what I'm saying? And the youngsters that's watching this, you feel what I'm saying? That I heard all the real shit, the stories, all the dope shit that we done been through, all the struggles we done been through. Like, what's one message, though, that you will want the youth knowing? Like, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that looking at niggas like, how can I find a way? What's that message that you would tell the youth to out there, like, to that, that don't got no hope? A nigga yeah. that was Lil One when he was 13 yeah. out there right now. You I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. You as well when you get a chance. To, you know what I mean? What would you say to your younger self for a nigga that's moving how a nigga was moving when you, we was younger? You could go first. I end it off. To be honest, I'm gonna be all the way honest with y'all in the whole world. I don't, I don't know what I say to my 13 year old self. That like, cause that's the person that, like at 13, that's when everything. I don't know what to tell him right now. Mm -hmm. Like I just, I, I would really think about that and personally tell y'all that. Rick, all tell him this my son right here. You hear me? Y'all can mm -hmm. tell him the game. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm gonna personally think about that, though, because that's some really touching shit. Yeah, and man. I would really want to know what I tell myself. So I'm, I'm going to be honest. It start with, and he can listen. Yeah, he can listen. He can, he can listen to it. Listen up. It start with, first and foremost, like what I've been saying, the whole, listen, when you come to God as who you are, you ain't got to change shit. God don't want you to change nothing. What you think? He, he made everybody. He made everybody. He made you the way you is. For a reason, he made you the way you is because when I see you, I see the star in you, and you and you just being you. And you, and it's man. crazy. It's really man. crazy because this nigga mega star. Man, me that, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they gotta take the heed to that though. Yeah. They gotta take heed to that though. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you know a nigga genuinely fuck with you. How you genuinely fuck with me? You mm -hmm. dig what I'm yeah. saying on the real? And, and I and I done told you. I'm talking about way back when mm -hmm. you was in the pen with the homie and study and doing all that. And I'm like, this nigga cold yeah. rapping for the I told him like, this nigga hard. So I so he ain't yeah. Come on, so I know he ain't. He ain't make he, he on the he ain't he home now. Yeah. Okay, okay. You dig what I'm saying? On, on the hood, but on the real, he home. You feel yeah. me? And the cold thing is, I you do got that star potential. You feel what I'm saying? You do got all of those those things. And what you said was real, cause a nigga might not know what to say to a nigga younger self. You dig know what I mean? Because yeah. a lot of times we still growing too and learning things too and trying to get that. But my message would be like, man, don't 
don't cheat yourself, man. Yeah. That's something you told my son is something I've been living with. The same thing you said about your daughter. Yeah. Be fearless. See, a lot yeah. of times we be trapped by the fear of our own communities and oh, breaking life. breaking them barriers. Like, man, all the homies doing this. I don't want to go to the studio because they hanging out tonight. Yeah, man, man, I'm going to the studio. I got to do that. You might have ran into a million dollars in there tonight. Yeah, I don't man. want it. Like he said, he doing acting class. You know how many niggas who will probably be like, man, I ain't doing that, man. Homies doing this tonight, man. This bitch is over here, man. It's, it's money in the trap right here. You know what I'm saying? You got to be yeah. fearless enough to say, you know what? I'm going to try something different because this right here is so easy for us to do. Yeah. We, we've been doing this since we was kids. We know how to do this shit yeah. easily. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real, man. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? But I uh -huh. want to say, man, I appreciate niggas letting a nigga pull up, man. Yeah. Up in these motherfuckers, Always, you know, man. man. Love you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Love all my Listen, niggas. Listen, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, shout out to Lil Rick, Rick, though. We got Contra Rick Rock behind the, the camera, man. We got Lil Rick, man. Hey, hey, you got Top in here, man. Lil One, man. Show your face, man. Look, we, yeah, man. Yeah, What's up, man. Put me up on him. Yeah, man. Lil Rick, put me up on him. Good love, man. Hey, for sure, up, man. man. Yeah, your pops got us out here, man. You know what I'm saying, man. Nothing but love, Lil Rick. You know that? For sure. You know what I mean? Leave that, on the message too. What you said, you said, um, what you just said. I, I know, yeah. What's I just, it, what yeah. would you say to your yeah, yeah, younger yeah, self? Yeah, my younger self, yeah, man, like, be fearless, my nigga. Fearless. Be fearless. Like, don't be afraid to, don't be afraid to challenge yourself because we know how to do the easy stuff that this is easy right here. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Like he said, it ain't no other way out. So we easy with accepting the way out. But you said it is a way. Yeah. So now we got to be fearless enough to be like, to find, to find, to find, find that, that way. Out find that way we ain't giving up we gonna and it starts pushing. with that it being fearless that. breaking out of what is norm exactly. around you got to be able to do different shit every time every time little one called me he be like man you want some different shit man but i love it man like he support as <laughs> yeah. a homie because it, it, he's looking at me in the space of you doing something that I really want to do. I love when you call a nigga though. When you have some shit on your mind on chill, you be thinking about it. You a really yeah. call a nigga and ask me like, man, what you think about this? Yeah. Like, what you think about this? On oh, real. You really take a nigga advice too. Yeah. You know I'm not gonna tell you nothing wrong. Yeah. And I love that you accept a nigga advice. I know what it is, man. So, yeah. Like, this is no studio in. NLE Chopper, Lil 100, man, live, live in the Jordans, nigga, you live see where the fuck we at, man, you know what I'm saying, Compton we, we at Compton Rick Rock TV, Rick Rock holding TV. it the fuck no down, studio. no studio in here, uh-huh, hey, homie, you could've waited, homie.